Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing complex variable type number 4 that is orthogonal trajectory and this will be our second example. So friends, till now we are done with one example that is e raised to minus x cos y plus x y equal to c. Now we are going to see the next example that is x cube y minus x y cube is equal to c. So as we know the procedure, we always assume given problem as u. So let us assume let u is equal to x cube y minus x y cube. As discussed, we don't take this constant. So we'll leave this constant c. Instead of c, we can have 2, 3, 4, whatever constant, we're going to avoid it. So once you assume the problem as u, what you're going to do is you're going to follow the flow chart. So flow chart of u you're going to follow that is a flow chart. So first thing that we need to find it out is ux and you're going to name it as phi1 of xy. So with respect to x, so y is constant, x cube derivative is 3x square minus y cube constant x derivative is 1 this is done now this phi 1 z comma 0 so if you place y as 0 the entire term will become 0 and here also y is 0 the entire term is 0 that means this is 0 so we got ux let's find it out uy and let me name it as phi 2 x comma y with respect to y, x is constant, x cube is constant, y derivative is 1 minus x constant, y cube derivative is 3y square. This part that is phi 2 of z comma 0. So this will be z cube and this term will be 0 because you will going to put y as 0. Next step is by mt f dash z is equal to this term is already 0 and this is z cube so basically minus i z cube this is the value of f dash of z now friends what's the next step integrate so after integrating you will get f of z as this minus i is constant z cube integration is z raised to 4 upon 4 that is z raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus constant of integration c. So we got f of z but my aim is to get the value of v. So I need to separate u and v. For that purpose, I am going to replace f of z with u plus iv minus i by 4 is outside. z I am going to replace by x plus iy raised to 4. Now here friends, you need to know this formula that is a plus b raised to 4 and the formula says a raised to 4 plus 4 a cube b plus 6 a square b square plus 4 a b cube plus b raised to 4. So you need to remember this formula to open this particular bracket. Now this formula you can derive by using Pascal triangle also. So or you can remember it. One more trick we do have for it. You can write it down as x plus i y the whole cube into x plus i y. So cube n1 will become 4. So you need to open both the brackets. So that is bit lengthy. Yes, but if you forget this formula in the exam. So that is the only option you are left with. So let's apply this formula a raised to 4 here a is x and b is i y x raised to 4 plus 4 a cube that is x cube into b that is i y plus 6 a square into b square so i y square plus 4 a that is x i y the whole cube and the last term is b raised to 4 that means iy raised to 4 
so we have opened the bracket let us simplify it further so this is minus i by 4 x raised to 4 plus i i am taking outside 4 x cube y see here i square what is the value of i square minus 1 so minus 6 x square y square this is i cube i cube is i square into i that is minus 1 into i that is minus i so minus i 4x y cube this is i raised to 4 i square into i square minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 that is plus 1 plus y raised to 4 what next let's multiply this inside so this will be minus i x raised to 4 upon 4 if you multiply with this particular term will having i square i square value is minus 1 and outside minus so minus of minus will become plus and this 4 will be cancelled with this so ultimately you will be left with x cube y minus with this term minus into minus is plus 6 x square y square i upon 4 next term with this term outside we have minus i here also we have minus i so minus i into minus i so minus into minus is plus and i square value is minus 1 so overall it is minus of 4 will be cancelled x y cube and last term will be minus i y raised to 4 upon 4 so this is the simplification now let us separate real and imaginary part so basically u plus iv is equal to i am writing down the real part first so that is this term that is x cube y next see this is also real that is minus x y cube rest everything is imaginary so let me take i outside so if i'll take i outside from this i will be left with minus x raised to 4 upon 4 here also i is there if you cancel this you will be left with 2 and 3 so basically plus 3 by 2 x square y square and last term is this minus y raised to 4 upon 4 so this is u plus iv now friends if you equate u is your real part and v is your imaginary part so u is equal to x cube y minus x y cube and v is see we don't take i on either of the sides so v is minus x raised to 4 upon 4 plus 3 by 2 x square y square minus y raised to 4 upon 4 this was your original u so let's check with the problem yes your given problem is right that means whatever the value of v you got is also correct and we know v is the orthogonal trajectory of u so this is the required answer thank you for watching this video